Everyone has a story. As you can see here, I'm at a lecture hall, which is empty, but every one of these seats was sat by someone that has a story to share. They had a hardship to, to, to state, or they may have gone through some family disaster. You never know, or they could have been the next Jeff Pezos. And the reason I'm bringing this up, a lot of people struggle with like the type of content they should start posting, either for their personal brand or for their business. But don't think about it like that. Don't think too much about it. Think about yourself. People wanna learn who you are. For instance, well, that's not Jeff Bezos, but uh, Ryan Kuros shared his story across another platform called Sweetberry Balls, and it resonated with a lot of people. And I think it was it was a mixture of you know maturing, a mixture of going through some failures and figuring out what it was I I, I did well, what it was I did poorly, what it was I wanted to do, and not starting from scratch, but trying to you know start something different. Boom! <laughs> there we got What's my up? other buddy, Jason Saran, who's an entrepreneur himself, started a company called Alva Fitness, just graduated from Rutgers, and this guy is dominating. What I'm trying to say is, everybody has something to share. Here's a little glimpse of his story as well. Why did you guys decide on a fitness apparel brand? Does fitness mean something to you? Fitness to me was the escape out of the life I had. Growing up, I was bullied and beaten up. I started going to the gym and it gave me the self-confidence and boost I needed to stand up for myself. I started Alpha Fitness with my brother initially as just a lifestyle fitness apparel brand. Over time, I used it as a way to start inspiring others to achieve the most out of their lives. I love showing people how the gym and training jiu-jitsu changed my life for the better. And here is, I'm Desi Saran and I'm the founder of Sweetberry Bowls and here's how I shared my story at Rutgers. For me, the most important thing is not having, you know, not thinking and having a what if or should I, what, 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 what would have happened if I would have gone down the shore that summer and, and you know, sold bowls and smoothies on the beach. So I, I, I wanted to make sure that I'm always pursuing it. And for people that are thinking about doing that, don't be scared to do that. You know, I think that uh, if it's your parents or you're worried about whoever is gonna judge you, almost 99% of the time they're gonna support you. You know, it's funny, when, when we first started growing this company, I was doing it for the wrong reasons, right? So, you know, I split up for my, my ex-partners and we went head to head, you know, just like any uh, two previous founders of a company, and uh, we were just competing against each other. And I finally moved past that phase where it was like, what am I doing? You know, I should be growing a company because I want to grow it. And I remember that when I left the company, my, my goal was actually just to kind of travel the world. So what happened was my ex-partners bought me out of the company, and I was going to take a, about a year time off to, to travel around the world for a year. That's been on my bucket list. And I remember sitting down, one of my buddies, also a partner investor in the company, and he says to me, you know, it was always your, your goal and your mission to, to build uh, a national company, but, you know, an international company maybe. Why are you going to stop now? You know, you can, you can build a new company and continue what you were doing. And I said to him, I go, why, why, would, I, why would I do that? Why would I um, start from scratch? It's going to be really difficult. You know, we grew Pliables, which is a behemoth of a company. It's a great brand. And why would I do that and compete against my, my other company? And I thought to myself, all right, one, I wanted it as a personal challenge to see if, if it really was my skill set to, to, to take a brand from scratch and be able to, to replicate and do the same thing. And I think I proved that to myself. Um, the other thing, which I, 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 I kind of had my blinders on for the past year and a half as we were growing it, all we were doing was focusing on growth, 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 opening new stores, sales. What gets lost is the important thing. Right? It's funny because you ask about values and, and what our core mission statement is. And we, you know, we finally figured out what our, what our slogan for our company is. It's, it's made with good vibes. And what that means is, you know, this company was built by a lot of really good people that had good intentions of, you know, putting something together that's, that's special for the world. And that's what we're trying to put out there. We're not just another bowl company. We're not sell bowls and, and make money. We're, we're here to, to, to build something that's special. And, and, that's a combination of creating jobs and creating an environment that, that people wake up and they want to come and work at Sweetberry, but also for the customers. When customers walk in, you know, we get a lot of uh, comments from people saying that you know, we, we love your atmosphere, we love your food, we come in to, to get away. And we're, we're, the second part of kind of what we're doing is uh, we have the creative genius of, of uh, our, our VP of Marketing, Sean, here. We're putting together a, a vlog series. I don't know if some of you have seen it. 
It's on our, on our Instagram TV and, and on YouTube. It's called Made With Good Vibes. So we're highlighting the lives and the stories of the people that are building this, this brand and this company. Right? So it's um, our partners, uh, our customers, and, and our staff. We're building this company to, 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 to build a platform to, to kind of tell our message. That's how I always feel. Look, normal. All right, the Rutgers thing was a great time, uh, but let's get into Reborn episode two. This is from last year, a little excerpt of me going to the city and explaining what I meant by everyone has a story. Even though you, I just kind of explained it, I wanted to emphasize how uh, important this is, especially because you'll see me go approach uh, a lady that was singing in the subway of New York City and you'll see an audience that surrounds her. She's capturing people's attention. If you realize, if you think about it, she experiences something new every single day. She sees things that we don't even see. She has stories that nobody has ever experienced, obviously. Without spoiling anything further, let's check it out what I mean. I get all the time is where do I start what do I say I don't have the right camera my life is boring the content already exists the thing is the content doesn't exist your life your experience you're the unique piece of content and once you realize that, that's when you realize that you differentiate from everyone else, just like Casey says. Probably the most important thing to succeeding, whether it's in the vlog game, the YouTube game, or in the creative space at all, is this. You have to have your own thing. So if you follow this video perfectly and you make the most perfect Casey vlogs, you will have failed before you've begun. They don't want to see your Casey vlogs. They want to see your, your vlogs. They want to see what you can bring to the table. And we are back, and that is the end. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, I don't know, I'm just sharing these uh, excerpts and these stories to hopefully that could resonate with you guys um, and you know help for anyone that's starting a business or a brand and so forth. So sharing stories is everything, um, and obviously it could resonate with an audience, your audience. Um, you know, if you liked the video, let me know in the comments. What else do you want to see? in this series, let me know. This is an open community, so ciao.